Hey guys, the Jace Dog here, and welcome to another Let's Play on the channel. That's right, guys. Today we will be starting Super Daryl Deluxe. That is right, guys. So this is episode number one of our Let's Play playthrough of this game. If you are excited to see this on the channel, or you do enjoy this when you are watching it, make sure you hit that like button hard guys but not too hard because you will break your computers guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the dog squad and tick the little bell to become part of the notification dog squad as well guys if you want to follow me on any of my social medias i have facebook instagram snapchat twitter and twitch they're all linked in the description down below and guys let's get a minimum of 15 likes on this video right here right now right up in your face to show your support for this game the channel and this new series as a whole but there is Daryl right there guys now like I said this is our new let's play we're only doing one let's play at a time on the channel so we've just finished our previous let's play now we're gonna be starting doing Super Daryl Deluxe until we finish the story mode at least so guys hopefully you enjoy seeing this on the channel I reckon it's gonna be a fun game to play but without further ado it's time to dive into episode number one let's do this guys this game does not autosave. Make sure to visit the bathroom. Okay, so we've got to save in the toilet. It's alright. We have to do that in other games that we've played before. Dan and Gary Games Presents. A game they've tried, or well, they tried their very best on. Well, as long as it's a good game, I'm okay with that. <gasps> Ooh, gunshots. Oh no! The trench coat kid. The jig is up! Detective Daryl! We've got your woman. We've got your textbooks. It's all over for you. Okay, so by the looks of my woman's over there. And so far, someone's dead on the floor. Detective Allen, that's on my side. Not so fast, trench coat. If that is your real name, you're under arrest for breaking the law. It's your jig that's about to be up. We'll see whose jig is up when you're busy dying. Oh no, Alan! Ugh. Oh my god! You won't get away with this! Detective Darrow is a big strong man who isn't afraid of folks like you! Keep it up, and you'll be joining Detective Allen. See you in hell, Detective Daryl. <coughs> okay. Looks like my jig is <coughs> just about toast, buddy. I really thought we had him this time. <coughs> no use standing around watching me bleed out in this cold, dark alleyway. <coughs> Go get your woman back. Just promise me you'll tell mine <coughs> that I won't be home for <coughs> Meatloaf Sunday. <coughs> okay, so this is obviously like the, the tutorial. We're level 44 at the moment. So move and duck. Okay, jump. Also, we have skills. Nice. Pretty cool. And then sprint is to run like that. That's actually pretty cool. I like how he flips like a... Skills have cooldown. Chains... Uh, yeah, so chain skills together to attack effectively. Got him. Gotta get that moolah. Come on, let's do this. You ain't gonna get me, I'm Daryl. I'm Daryl, and I'm Detective Daryl. Can I go this way now? I can. Interesting. Old warehouse. Run in the dark. Oh, 
Hey, uh, best buddy. The hell? Oh god. Octo Paul. How you doing? No need to be so gray. Don't you worry about what happened to Detective Allen. You were always my favorite. I know. How about some textbooks to get your mind off of it? Oh, he's got to frame some textbooks. Giving those textbooks is so tiring. Don't worry, buddy. Uh oh, he's throwing more textbooks. Ah! This is actually alright so far. It's like kind of like one of those side scrolling comic y looking things. Oh, I didn't even realize I had the, um, the big kick. Oh, buddy, here comes more of them. Oh, so, oh, more of these bad guys, okay. This is not too bad already, guys. Like, I reckon that's pretty cool. So we're chaining our um, things together to get as much damage as we possibly can, which isn't too bad. As long as we kill these bad guys to try to kill... Well, they killed my friends. Wait, don't leave yet. I was just going to promote you. Here's your super detective sound. I guess he's stuck in there? Maybe. Huh, that is thing. This is a weird start to the game. Like, we're getting thrown straight into, like, near the end of the game. You want your woman back, Detective Daryl? Well, she's mine until my jig is up. And right now, my jig is way up here. Come and get her, Detective Daryl. Change skills at your locker. So that's my locker there, is it? Daryl's locker and skill shop. Oh, okay. So we got shocking statement. Launch an orb of electric murder out of your chest like a real man. <laughs> Press again to detonate early if you're into that type of thing. Nothing says, oh shit, like an enemy about to get pummeled by a giant heavy thing on a stick. Daryl swings the sword around like a maniac. So, that one does a lot of damage. Um, you know what? I think we'll switch. Which one was I going to switch for? This one. What's this one? 180. Instantly toss all enemies around into the air. Around me in the air. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. What have we got over here? Daryl slides forward and knocks any enemies he touches into the air. Increases skill range for more distance. Oh. And then... We uh, teleport harmlessly... In the direction he's facing. Okay, um... I think we're right. Oh, yeah. How you like me now? Okay, so we gotta get up there. What's over here? Bushka! So that's that one gone. So, by the looks of it, it's like one of those games that you have to, um... You know, progress. Oh, we found him. Too slow, detective. Maybe next time. If your jig lasts that long. No, they disappeared. Oh, there's a key there. 
He's got the key, I need to get it off him. Bruh. Come on. Bah! Wait, where's that key now? Oh! Do I have to beat the textbook? I think I do. Oh well, it's gone. No, is it? Get back, you your textbook! I ain't done with you, boy! I beat the textbook. It's alright so far, you know, looks like it's a bit of a prologue, if anything type of like tutorial at the start but we're like heaps far into the end of the game which is weird wasn't expecting that do I have the key? I think I do I killed all the guys so you'd, you'd assume that I do I do I had the key I got the key okay so Ooh, here we are. Oh god, there's a bomb there. This is where the jig ends, Detective Darrow. It's just you, me, your woman, all your textbooks, and this empty room full of dynamite. Turn around, and I won't have to blow you and your books straight to the moon. But take another step, and the woman gets it. Don't listen to him, Darrow. He's serious. Oh, he shot me. No! Well, that takes care of Detective Darrell. You have to get up, Detective Darrell. Do it for me! Oh, there's the uh, Alan. Get up, Darrell. Did it for all of us. The power of friendship must overcome the power of evil. I need to get up. It's giving me XP. I'm up. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, uh. No. What's happening? The power of friendship is rejuvenating him. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Your jig isn't up yet. This can't be. My plans are ruined. Oh, jeez. Detective Darrell, you're alive. You did it, pal. Now solve this case like the detective you are. Okay. This is how it is, huh? I should have known that the mighty Detective Daryl couldn't be stopped by mere bullets alone. Uh-oh. 30 seconds on the clock. A round of old-fashioned fisticuffs it is. I don't mind killing you in front of your woman a second time. But you better hurry, because... This place is about to blow, Sky. Let's fight, bruh. Let's fight! You wanna fight me? Bruh! I will fight you! If it's the last thing I do! Bruh! Bow! Super powered! You wanna kill me? I'm Detective Daryl! We can do this! If the power of friendship combines the power of awesomeness! Come on, Daryl, come on. You can do it. I believe in you, Daryl! So it's the one with the hat that is the one that we're after. He's the one that I need to kill if I want to save. My woman! Urgh. You wanna go, me? How I say? Jeez, he's pretty strong. We have 26 seconds. It's a slow second. Urgh. I'm Detective Daryl! don't have to. This place is about to blow. Destroying you and all your textbooks. 
and I ain't gonna stick around to watch it happen. Good luck getting your woman out in time, Detective Daryl. You did it, Detective Daryl! Quick, untie me before this building explodes! Okay. So, I guess that's the prologue? Oh, you nice. Are my hero, Detective Daryl. Oh yeah. So big and strong. Oh, you know it. How about we go back to my place and I'll make you a big batch of cookies. Oh damn, cookies! I want some cookies. Daryl, are you listening to me? What's happening? Daryl. Oh, it was a dream, was it? Hey. It's all. <laughs> hey, have you heard a goddamn thing I've been telling you? Uh, nope. I don't Son think so. Bitch. <laughs> Champion. All right, we'll start over. Quit daydreaming and pay attention this time. So it's daydream, daydreaming it of all things, really. Forty years ago. Jeez, that's a long time. Waterfalls High School, forty years ago. And now it is my honor to proudly introduce the valedictorian and salutatorian for the Waterfalls graduating class of 1975. Jeez, that's ages Both ago. Both students have demonstrated unwavering dedication to their academics while astoundingly supporting successful leadership positions in every club and sport on campus. Okay. Clubs and sports which have, under their guidance, claimed number one spots in every club and sport championship around the world. Nice. Clubs and sports that the President of the United States of America himself awarded the prestigious Most Admirable Clubs and Sports Award okay. last spring. The first That's an award? In the country. Yeah, I was about to say. Their service and charity to the Waterfalls community is far-reaching and has lifted our modest town out of obscurity into the ranks of the great civilizations of antiquity. Okay. From okay. single-handedly raising money to construct the town's first and only municipal airport for homeless dogs and cats, to successfully converting the Tri-County area into the world's first peaceful, ethical, and prosperous communist local government. Surely, one can only dream of the wonders these boys have in store for the galaxy and beyond. Without further ado, I invite to the podium the valedictorian Eli Bavarius and the salutatorian Ken Hangerman to move us all okay. once again with some words of wisdom. Uh, please, boys, let's hear what that you have to long say on this occasion. What a long speech. Thank you, Principal Buttersworth. Buttersworth. Gosh, it certainly has been a crazy <laughs> ride. And what an honor. But let's not fool ourselves. Kent what is this meant to be about? It's just like... Without the help of our school and the wonderful community. All our hard work means nothing without you. Waterfalls High. Please give yourselves a hand. Okay. Is this one of the, is this the, that guy that was sitting there talking to us, probably ah, one of these guys. What a wonderful way to end this chapter of our lives. Sitting here atop this hill, basking in all we've done today, okay. and all we've yet to do tomorrow. Hmm. I think we can really change the world, Eli. Oh, totally, man. Think how far man. this momentum can take us. Oh, really far. It's a new chapter, Kent. Especially with every top college on earth begging for our attendance. Oh, yeah. You know... I was serious about what I said at graduation. What was that? Which part? The part about not being able to do all we've done without the help of our community. Okay. If we hadn't shown our town the ways of love, tolerance, and cooperation, we had never cured seasonal allergies or resuscitated that frozen mammoth. Oh, God. I know mammoth. we can reach whomever we <laughs> wish to reach. I've been thinking. <laughs> hmm. Well, there's a surprise. Well, yeah, hold on. This is a surprise. It's crazy. See, I've been researching world peace lately. And my findings suggest that the most peaceful periods on Earth have occurred around the release of best-selling self-help books. Okay. We've already proven we can help okay. people help themselves locally. 
Just so they're gonna write some books, are they? If we employed the paramount tool for reaching the masses. Oh God. Self help, huh? Self help, what a huh? novel idea. A book that helps people help each other through helping themselves. Oh, totally. Our writings could usher in the next golden age. Oh yeah, ah, money, but money, we can't money, get ahead money. of ourselves. We have to visualize our goals as small steps. You know, like a staircase. Yeah. Our staircase to success will ensure our dreams come true. What is this Guys, all you know, about? Kent, with our heads together, I've no doubt that our climb to the top of those stairs will be as smooth as an escalator. Uh, a smooth, gliding escalator. escalator. And this is Waterfalls High School. Super Daryl Deluxe. And that's the game we're playing. So that must have been the tutorial slash prelog, guys, where he was daydreaming. And now, you know, obviously the janitor or that former wrestling champion is going to be telling us the story as we go through. So, Daryl obviously has like a um, big imagination. Thinks about a lot. Waterfalls High School, one week ago. Pleasure to meet you, False Daryl White Law. My name is White Mr. Law. Roboto and I am the vice principal here. Mr. Roboto. Okay. Well, hello, as Mr. Roboto. Know, Waterfalls High School is the finest school in the state. Okay. We pride ourselves on the beauty and safety that our campus offers. This institution is that a boasts a vast network of friendly, helpful students one on the for right. you to use at your disposal. If you ever need help, do not be afraid to reach out to any of your peers or faculty. Oh, I won't. Of course, academics are our number one priority. Okay. There's nothing we care about more than the success of our students. So I got a story. To Go to class. To ensure your success, we have designed the perfect habitat for adolescents to learn and pupate into upstanding citizens. Just Ooh. make sure you have a hall pass. I will. Now that we are friends, here is your class schedule. What do you think of your classes? Uh, study hall and gym. That's all it is. Just study hall and gym. <gasps> yes, Daryl. That schedule will He's be a your robot. guide to success here at Waterfalls. You're going to do just fine. Well, his name is Classes Mr. Roboto. Are begin soon. If you would follow me, I will show you to your very own personal storage unit. Well, thank you, man. I just need to know where my personal storage unit is. And I'm all set. Pink haired girl. This locker is yours. You will be assessing it frequently throughout the day. It is a very important part of your high school experience. Oh look, there are some new friends now. Paul, Alan, this is Daryl. Daryl, this is Paul and Alan. A bunch of dots. See? It's easy to make friends. Have fun. See you, Mr. Roboto. <laughs> okay, so... Do I talk to these so-called... Uh, who are you? Well, I'm Daryl. Daryl Whitelaw. Formerly known as the Chase Dog. <laughs> okay, Paul. Okay, bye. So these two were in my, um, my daydream. Oh, God. He got closer. What, what do you want? To make friends, maybe? What's wrong with him? Probably the same thing that's wrong with everyone. Well, every other knuckle dragger in the school. Who cares? Don't change the subject. Think. Where could we have lost it? What about the quad? What about the quad? What about... What the... We were just there. You probably dropped it like you drop everything else. Oh, please. I'll have you know I never dropped anything in my life. Shut up! What are we supposed to do? It's probably blown into the far side by now. And I'm sure as shit not going out there. Balto's in detention. So he's use as useless as always. And who the hell even knows where Tony is? Yeah, yeah, I know. Look, I'm trying to think. But it, I just can't concentrate with that weird kid staring at us like that. It's freaking me out, dude. <sighs> Hi there, you must be new. My name's Paul, and this is Alan. It's a pleasure meeting you, and whatever, but we're pretty busy at the moment. Tell you what, though. Alan here dropped an important piece of paper in the quad earlier. If you go and get it for us, I'll let you stand here and breathe our air some more. Yep, 
We'll be your best friends. And we could use some flowers too. So while you're there, don't forget to pick some flowers for us. Friends love flowers. Flowers! What? Do we? Oh, right. Yeah, we do need flowers, don't we? We sure do. So, uh, our piece of paper and some flowers in return for our friendship? Oh, and don't wander into the far side of the quad. The principal is really strict about that. Got it? Okay. Great, you can get to the quad from the main lobby. Off you go. Okay. So, I gotta find a piece of paper and I gotta get free dandelions. Hello, Abby. Hi, I'm Abby. It's nice to meet you. Love the whole headband thing you've got going on. But hey, uh, I couldn't help hear you're talking to Paul and Alan. I'd hate to, you know, tell you what to do, but they're pretty much, they pretty much suck. I'd switch luckies if I were you. Half of them are empty now anyway. Okay. So Abby doesn't want me to hang with Paul and Alan, but Paul and Alan are my best friends. Tim's Locker. Okay, so Tim's Locker. We got the Science Lab. Jesse. Chelsea. Blurso. What's up, Blurso? Dude! I can't remember where my locker is. Okay, what about you, Chelsea? Are you foreign or something? <laughs> I haven't seen you around before. You must be new. My name's Jesse. Welcome to Waterfalls. I gotta say, you picked a great time to transfer. There haven't been any classes here in for three weeks. It's too bad no one really comes to the school anymore. Okay, so Jesse, Chelsea, and Blurdo or Blurso seem to not really be doing much. History, so Alan and Paul put me on a mission, guys. Abby's warned me of them, so here's the bathroom. There's a rat with a... Ooh! I did not mean to step on that rat, but <laughs> I killed it. I'm sorry, Mr. Rat. Well, Mrs. Rat had a pink tail, so. Quick save. Of right current save. Manual save. Saving game. So we just did a piss and it saved the game. Nice. So I guess in this um first episode, guys, we're going to go out and we're going to go and rep a pepperoni, that rat. But we're going to go out and get these flowers and a piece of paper for the boys. Salts. Or, uh, no, not salts. SATs. I thought I had a nail for a second there. What would something do? Okay. Try to be healthy. Prom. Sell and theme. Not too bad. For the first episode, it's not too bad. So, we got the main office. We were just in East Hall, I believe. That's outside. Becca. Mark the bear, eh? You know what? Mark the Bear seems like a, you know, nice, nice quality man. How you going, Mark? Okay, he doesn't really care. Hey, Becca? It's strange seeing the school so empty. You're new, right? Did you happen to catch a glimpse of the principal's face? As far as I know, no one around here has actually seen him in person yet. Maybe that would change this Friday. I imagine he would give a speech or something. I'd like to know his last name, at least. Isn't it Mr. Roboto? Unless it's not Mr. Roboto. God damn, Mr. Roboto. Oh god, this school has just went to crap. So, my classes are study hall and gym. Like, one gym and a study hall. This monument is dedicated to Eli and Kent, whose boundless brilliance and generosity led us all to world peace and to Waterfalls High School, the institution that allowed their greatness to blossom. Well, as you can see, one of them's been decapitated, and one of them's had his, ha his hand cut off, and has been graffitied. So, this school's went to crap. Sidewalk closed. So, I'm guessing we're going this way. Very interesting so far, guys. If you are enjoying this Let's Play, make sure you hit that like button. You know, it's only episode number one. Hey, it's Rob Mancheesy. Like the hat, Rob. Yeah, I know. I'm not supposed to be out here, but... With all the new administration coming in and the new principal banning anyone being on this side of the cloud, I don't feel the consequences, though. Yep. With all these other kids disappearing, left, right, and I almost feel jealous of them. I'm thinking at some point here, I'll just up and disappear myself. 
run away from it all. Maybe camp out in the desert and listen to the coyotes, eating beans and barbecue. That's the life. Well, Rob, that sounds very depressing. <laughs> what the hell, Rob? Ooh. Dinner line. Hey there, friend. If you promise not to tear me from the ground by my roots, I'll teach you how to jump. So, if I don't pull him from the ground. What's down here? I want to check down. Ooh, okay, so nothing. So if I promise not to tear him out of the ground by his roots, he'll teach me how to... Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you anyway. Ah, getting a little close there. You, you promised. Yoink. Got him. I just murdered that flower. <laughs> okay, this is actually pretty cool. I like this type of um, floating land that we're in. We're getting pretty high now. I heard Johnny screaming down there. I think someone is picking us. Please. Jump over here and protect me! I'll try to sprint and jump farther that way. I like their faces, like, he's like, oh, no, 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 no. and then you get close to him, he's like, oh my god, oh my god, please, please! Oh, no. Gotcha. Gotcha now, flower. Oh, shit! I almost fell to my death there. Thank god I landed on a platform. I like that rod, uh, rub dude. <laughs> Oh, that was close. Okay, we're gonna have to use some sprinting speed. There's another Daniel line above me. We got it. Okay. It's over here. Oh! There's a squirrel kid. Combo 5, 3, 9. Squirrel boy. What is up, squirrel boy? Oh, uh, God, no! Did you lose your nuts too? What? Good is a quad if you can't store your nuts. Why is everything floaty and chunky? It wasn't like this last spring. My nuts have fallen down to China by now. Uh, I can't go to China. I don't even have a passport. Okay, squirrel boy, you better you better find where your nuts went, mate. Because if you don't find where your nuts went, you ain't much of a squirrel, boy. <laughs> Got him. Okay. So the other flowers here. Is is that dirt under your fingernails? Yep, gotcha, gotcha. He realised that I murdered his friends. I murdered all of his friends. What's over here? Nothing. It's just a graveyard up in the sky. Oh, that sun. How did I survive that? I want to go and look at that sun real like real quick again, guys. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Well, hello there, Mr. Sun. You look like you're from my damn nightmares. Bye. Okay. So, we killed the flowers. See you later, Rob. We better go and return these things, and then I think that's probably going to be it for the first episode after we return the um, piece of paper and dandelion to the boys. Get some friends up in here. He's tall. So, they're down here, I think. Miranda's combo too. Oh, that went pretty quick. <laughs> what can I say? I'm having a bad day. So Alan and Paul, this is a lot more like than just a bad day. Well, it looks like our bad day is about to get a lot worse because that kid is back. Uh, look, unless you have our stuff, you, you do have our stuff? Oh, are those dandelions? That's great. You're like your own handed dandy little flower boy. So I went up to some of my flower boys, my social rank. Passive unlocked. <laughs> See? I knew he'd come back. Hey, buddy. While you were gone, Mr. Roboto stopped by. I guess some dork named Daryl left his notebook in the main office. I don't know who Daryl is, and I don't really care. So, how does a brand new notebook sound, eh? Friends give other friends gifts, you know. You attained Daryl's notebook, so my notebook was in the office by the looks of it. <laughs> Speaking of gifts, I bet you're curious about what's so important about that paper. It's our friend Tim's locker combination. We took it so we could give him fun gifts all the time. That's what friends do. And those flowers, you ask. Those flowers are exactly what Tim needs to spruce up his locker. Friends love flowers. Now, go ahead and put those flowers in Tim's locker for him. It's over there. 
So they want me to put flowers in Tim's locker for no reason. Just keep that locker combination in your notebook. I'm sure Tim will want more flowers later on. Come back when you're done. We have more jobs for you to do so you can earn our friendship. Press the touchpad to open up Daryl's notebook. So that's obviously a drove photo of myself. <laughs> so we've got our tag, clothes, money, all that type of stuff. That's pretty cool. Locket combo. So we got Tim's combination, 812. Your name is Daryl Whitelaw, and today was your first day at Waterfalls High School. You were warmly welcomed to, uh, by the Vice Principal, which of course is Mr. Roboto, who while directing you to your new locker introduced you to two of your peers, Paul and Alan. To allow the seeds of friendship to grow, Roboto left you, uh, left you kids alone. Paul and Alan were reluctant to accept you into their social circle, but after you recovered them a piece of paper containing their good friend Tim's locker combination, along with a banquet of dandelions, well, they decided you were of use after all. Okay, not too bad. Skills, nice. Friends, not friends. So, so far we have Paul Plate and Alan Orpta and a Mr. Roboto. So, middle age, try your best and be yourself is his yearbook quote. Catches fire in the rain is his fun fact. Longest battery life. So he is a robot then. Uh, wait, Yasta doesn't have his age. So Alan is 16. His year, uh, yearbook quote, the kids that work on the yearbook staff are tools. Thinks fun facts are for tools. Most likely to end up missing. 16. Advertise your business here for as low as $5. Call. And that number, Paul. Is definitely afraid of showing genuine human emotion most likely to disregard morals and ethnics okay and do I have any enemies yet or not friends no nope. so we're in the North Hall that's cool and flower delivery so there's a new kid over here too keeper of the quests you've got to be kidding me you must be the worst of wolves and druids player I've ever seen wandering around without a clue you're completely obli oblivious of the number one rule. Keep your quest organized. Do you even know what you're supposed to do right now? If you even care about D&D, you'd know to check your quest pages. Or quest page to find out your current story quest. If you weren't a complete slob, you might know to keep track of all your side quests too. All the information you could possibly need to complete your quest is right there in your quest page. Do you even realize you can add quests to your quest helper to keep updated on your quests? You literally, you literally <laughs> have only to check a box. Pff, you probably can't even figure out how to use a pencil. I bet you haven't even kept a journal of all your quests so far, like an unskilled moron that you are. Check out the quest page now, and while you're at it, open the journal and start keeping track of everything you've done. It's people like you that make D&D so frustrating to play. Nobody knows what they're doing. Okay, so... Is that what he wanted me to do? I done it. Feeling a little better? Just try to remember how important your quest page is. If you forget what quest you're doing, just give it a quick peek. Maybe one day you'll be as organized as me. Pfft, yeah, right. Okay, so we've done that thing. And then Tim's locker. Oh, what was it again? 812, okay. So we want to go... 8, 1, and 2. There we go. We just hacked into Tim's locker. You put dandelions in his locker. Ooh, some lunch money. I'll steal it. Why not? I'm gonna take Tim's lunch money. He ain't gonna be able to buy no food today. <laughs> Not for dead, Timothy. Okay. Now I gotta go and tell the boys what I done. Who the hell's this? Skill sorceress. Hey there, handsome. You look like you know how to interact with others. In dwarfs and druids, players need to work together to get things done, of course. That goes hand in hand with the number one rule. Getting the best skills. In D&D, &D, we can have up to four skills equipped at a time. 
there's lots of different skills, well, different types of skills we can choose from and can all be enhanced after you've gained enough experience. My favorite skill is hat summoning. With a flick of my wand, I can summon any hat I want. They really mean though, and sometimes a bit hard to wear without fighting first. You look like the sort of guy that already knows a skill. Let me summon a mean hat for you to try, uh, for you to try it on, or try it out on. Don't worry about getting a little sweaty. Dee. Okay, learn about skills. What am I doing with this guy? I'm just hiding. <laughs> can I, um... I, I don't think I can do anything with him. I'll talk to Paul then. Tim didn't see you, right? Don't think too much about the forcefully entering someone's locker. We see... See, we surprised him with flowers all the time. And he absolutely loves it. Friends love flowers. But hey, maybe you're right. Maybe it's an invasion of personal space. However, I like to think of it as a service. So what if uh, so what if we take something every once in a while? Removing unnecessary clutter from our customers' lockers improves their lives dramatically. How else will we have enough room to store our products? It's business 101, Dylan. I'm Daryl, not Dylan. And business is what we're all about. You're standing in the presence of Waterfalls High School's two newest entrepreneurs. So, hello to uh, say hello to Paul and Alan of Paul and Alan's textbook Emporium. And guess what? We're prepared to offer you a job as our new product manager. Congratulations! Just say nothing if you want to accept. Well, I guess I have to say nothing. Excellent! We got a real go-getter here, Paul. We can't pay you per se, but we couldn't help but notice how repulsive you are to be around. And I mean in that in the best way possible. In lieu to of money, we are offering you this miraculous book that we found in the main office. If it's good enough for your principal, it's good enough for you. Now, Mind you, kids who get caught sneaking in there tend to disappear, so you should appreciate that we got this for you. Interacting with others, okay. It's got a weird sound of the book. It's pretty creepy. As good businessmen, we went ahead and ripped out all the pages for you, so if you want the good stuff, you'll have to help us nurture our young, fragile business. As a signing bonus, we'll give you the first page for free. How does that sound? You learned a skill. Discuss differences. As product manager, your job will be to secure as much product as possible. Textbooks are a really hot commodity in WFHS. But the trench coat kid and his goons have the market completely locked down. Seriously, there's like a hundred of those bastards. And there's no way they've cleaned out the old classrooms. So that's where you should start. You should get us some textbooks, and we'll give you the pages to that book we gave you. And you'll make a ton of friends. You'll be the Fonz in no time. Hey! Haha. <laughs> yeah. We like to have fun around here. Well, give him the key, Alan. The janitor's key? You had it last. What? No, I didn't. You're the one in charge of the keys. Oh, please. I'll have you know I've never owned a key in my life. God damn it. How the hell is our new product manager supposed to manage our product if he can't even get into the old classrooms? We could start by looking in your locker for it, since you're the one who lost it. Fine. You're gonna. Uh, you're not gonna find it in there, though. Alright, Dylan. Why don't you go find something else to do while we find the, the next task? I don't know. Meet the other students or something. Oh, and by the way, don't carry that self-help book around with you. If the school's only copy, uh, it's the school's only copy, and if they find out you stole it and rip the pages out, then you'll probably send uh, they'll probably send you to jail. Do you know what happens to kids in jail like you? I suggest carrying 
only a few pages with you at a time and leaving the rest in your locker. That's called plausible di uh, deniability. There's your business lesson for the day. Now, get out of here. So my locker. Skill shop. What are we looking in the skill shop for? Blinding logic. Can I buy it? I need to get level 3 by the looks of it. Now our locker. Discuss differences. So that's like a punch. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. It's my... Oh, I have to punch Fez. The, um, the little gnome thing. Is that all I had to do? The way you destroyed that Fez was so manly. Now that you're all sweaty and have some SXP, that means skill experience. Why don't you use that your locker and try ranking your skill? By uh, ranking up your skill, wink. Okay, so... Gotta go into my locker. Wait, probably not this one, though. No. Nah, so it's here. Rank up. Okay, so it's now a two star instead of a um, one star. It's not too bad. You can get to five. So we just did that. Another one. So we get two punches now. Oh my! You're just tearing those silly, uh, those silly little mean hats. Uh, okay, tearing through them. You have some more SP now. Go ahead and rank that big sexy skill up one more time at your locker. Okay. I will rank my skills up again and again. Now it's on level 3 and it's got 2 stars. So that's done. There you go, handsome. Now, you know the secrets are to ranking up your skills. When you hit a certain rank, they transform. But not all skills transform at the same ranks. You'll have to use that big brain of yours to figure that out on your own. If you hang around with me some more, I can show you some new skills. Wink. Okay. So that's that done. We've done the quest one for that. Meet the students. I already talked to them, like, all of them, like, last time. Well, just before we went and got this. Oh, He wasn't here last time. Saving instructor. You there, wanderer. You look like someone who seeks out excitement and lives life in the danger zone. I know my kind when I see it. Dangerous souls like you, uh, dangerous souls like us must stick together. And we sure as heck need to obey the number one rule of dwarfs and druids. Always save. I bet you're wetting yourself with excitement right now. I know I am. Talk to me when you're ready to hear the secrets of the saving process. A progress, Wanderer. I already saved before anyway. Alright, so, here's what you need to do. Every time you find yourself in a dangerous spot and nature calls, just find the nearest bathroom and head to that stall over there to update all your progress and stats in your Dwarves Endurance Handbook. If you lose all your health, the Game Master makes you start from your last save. It's super lame, so make sure you save all the time. Listen to me, and you'll never quit the game in a blind rage again. Happy saving, Wanderer. Okay. So, we've done another quest. So I guess I'm going to save. And overwrite. And there we go. We just saved. So, I like how he's dressed as like Goku, but he's also pretty hurt. So, so far this... Wash your hands. I wash my hands when I want to wash my hands. Don't you dare talk to me like that. Pah! Okay, so, like I said, guys... I'm just going to hide over here next to him, on the floor like he's going to kick me. <laughs> but guys, if you have enjoyed episode number one of Super Daryl Deluxe, make sure you hit that like button hard, guys, but not too hard because you will break your computers. Guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the dog squad and spread the word of the Jace Dog to everybody you know. Tick that little bell as well, guys, to become part of the notification dog squad and you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video to the YouTubes or I go live on the channel. Guys, if you want to go and follow me on any of my social medias, I have Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Twitch. They're all linked in the description down below. 
And guys, let's get a minimum of 15 likes on this video right here, right now, right up in your face to show you support for this game, this series, and the channel as a whole. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this new game that we are currently let's play on the channel, Super Daryl Deluxe. It's definitely going to be played through in its entirety, guys. So, like I said previously, we only play through one Let's Play game at all times on the channel. And once we finish this game, we'll move on to another game. Of course, guys, we're still doing our unboxings, our sports gameplays, and everything else. So make sure you go and check out those guys if you haven't already. But I hope you are keen to see more of this game as we go forth. Please don't kick me in the ass, please, sir. Please, please. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, guys, we'll be back with episode number two in about two days or three days from this time. So hopefully you did enjoy episode number one. It's been good so far. I'm definitely keen to see where it takes us moving forward with this game. So far, it's pretty fun. Like, let me know who your favorite character that we've met in this game is so far, guys, in the comment section down below. But like I said, I hope that you have enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, stay Awesome! The Jace Dog is out of here. See ya!